All right, so we got 30 rounds there, and uh, let's see how we let's see how it works on this punk. What's up, infected survivors? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Fear of the Night. You guys are super duper duper hyped for Fear of the Night, and I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Hold on, come here, come close. I am too. Man, I'm freaking loving this game. You guys will love watching me play. You guys gave me a lot of awesome tips. We're going to go over some of those tips right now. First of all, I can stay out at night. All I have to do is find houses that I can get on the roof of. Or some people said cars as well. So maybe I'll try that. But like if I'm out during the night, let's say I'm out in the night and like I'm way away from my base, I should be able to get on this roof maybe. Nah, it doesn't seem like I can get on this roof. But I've seen people get on roofs. Um, so you can get on some roofs. So, can I get on a roof here? Yeah, you could jump on that. And then jump on the roof. I'm pretty sure I saw someone do this. There we go. So, if I'm out for the night, I should be able to stay on this roof and be safe. We'll actually try it tonight as a little test. Uh, is it, well, let's just see if this guy can get up here. I don't think they can. So, if you're out during the night... And this is going to be great. Because what I was worried about was going out and exploring the world. Right? <laughs> going out and exploring the world uh, during the night if I'm not close to my house. All right? So you could do stuff like this. Also, the other good tip... Here, let me take care of this guy really quick. There you go. You're done. You're done. All right. So the other tip you guys gave me... Oh, you guys gave me a lot of tips. The second tip <laughs> you guys gave me was as follows. You can jump on the spikes. Somebody said you can walk through the spikes. I don't know about that. I think you have to jump on them. Yeah, you have to jump on them. But you can jump on the spikes and you don't take damage. So that is a great tip because now I can really spike the ever-loving hell out of this place. Um, what else did you guys tell me? Uh, scrap the batteries for chemicals. Let's go do that right now because I asked about chemicals and you guys told me to scrap the batteries for chemicals. So let's go do that right now. I actually don't know if I'm going to get into the spikes today. Um, I don't want to do two videos in a row of spikes. And my last video was all about spikes. So I think what we're going to do is we're probably going to go out and explore. I might just spend the night at home. Although I don't have a ton of... You know what? Let's spend the night on that shelter over there that we were just on. And then that way we could, you know, decide if that staying on the roof is really going to be something we can do, you know, um, throughout the game. So I'm pretty sure it is, but I just want to test it. All right. So let's come in here. And yeah, there we go. Look at that. Salvage all three. There you go. Get chemicals. Awesome. So what do I need the chemicals for? I don't freaking remember. Uh, it was something important. I do know that. Also, someone said, uh, don't salvage nails and keep some pipes for guns, but the rest should be okay to salvage. Can anyone confirm that? You know, let me know. All right. So what the hell did I need those chemicals for? Was it for the tablet? No. I need, well, yeah, I have the laptop. Actually, I can make the tablet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do that though. Um, yeah, so I need the chemicals for the glue. That was what it was for. All right, let's go ahead and make some glue. What did I need the glue for? I don't freaking remember. I think I needed it for some... Did I need glue for, like, uh, plywood? I think I need, I need, I think I need glue for plywood. All right, guys, I'm going to do some salvaging here. Um, I'm going to keep the pipe fitting as well, because I needed that for something. I don't remember what. Um, but I think I'm just going to scrap the rest of this stuff. The, the, the weapon I can make with the table leg is only 25 damage, so I don't see any reason to do that. Um, plus, we're going to need a lot of this salvageable resources. And the reason I needed the glue <clears throat> was for... Actually, I still don't remember. <laughs> I still don't remember. I'm pretty sure I needed it for some kind of plywood, but I don't remember what I need the plywood for. So we'll look into that in a moment. Uh, right now, um, I've got some... Oh, by the way, I've got some water boiling. I didn't change the day-night settings. I kind of like them where they are. Um, but I do have some water boiling. Another tip one of you guys gave me was campfires. Put, set up campfires outside the base for light at night. Um, I might do that if I get some time. It's it's Nighttime is uh, quickly approaching, so we'll have to see about that. Um, but that is a good tip. Let me see what else uh, other tips you guys gave me. Uh, don't savage nails. Fa oh, fast travel to bases and tents. Can you fast travel to tents? Is that a thing? Probably, right? Um, so maybe we want to grab some tents with us as we traverse the world. Can we just put as many tents out in the world as we want? That That is something I need to know. The cabinet. Is that what I needed? Yep, that's what I needed the plywood for. Uh, cabinet large. Uh, the slot capacity of this cabinet is as large as the cabinet appears to you. Okay, so that's storage. Okay, so that's great. That's great. So we definitely want to work on that. All right, guys. It's nighttime. And we're going to do a little bit of defending here. We're going to try. Oh boy, it sounds like a lot of them. Oh boy, that's a lot of them. I did not expect this many without the generator on. Really did not expect this many without the generator on. Oh boy, I need more spikes, man. 
I need more spikes. All right, well, let's go ahead and heal. Um, it's not letting us heal while well, we're crafting a, a bandage now, I think. There we go. I don't know how long that door is going to last. But let's just see. Man, this is rough. Oh, you know, let's go on the other, uh, let's go on the other roof. That's what we were supposed to do. That's right. All right, well, let's check, let's test this out. Will they come after me, though? I don't want them beating on my doors. Come on, guys. Over here, everybody. Over here. Yeah, I don't think we have enough spikes for this. I'm surprised there's so many without the generator on, though. I did not expect that. I did not expect that. All right, so let's come on over here and jump on here and then jump up here. Nope. Come on. Don't screw this up. There we go. Okay. All right. Now let's just kind of be quiet here. All right, guys. That was definitely a nighttime horde. Um, and the reason I know it was a nighttime horde is because at the end of the night, everything died. So there's that. Um, all right. Let's take a look at the map. Let's see where we want to go. Um, maybe we should come up this way. Go to that next question mark. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's come up the road this way. Um, I believe that is over here, right? Is that the road? No, that's the other way. We have to come up this way. There should be a road over here. And then uh, we're going to go this way. Now, honestly, guys, if I was playing this game straight up, just the way I would normally play a game, I would dedicate my entire day to getting, doing nothing but getting, um, uh, getting wood and making spikes. But I'm trying to make a YouTube video here, so I'm going to uh, do some exploring. Um, let's see if we can repair a bat. So you can only repair stuff if you have the stuff in your inventory. But if you don't have the stuff in your inventory, it just says that the repair button's grayed out. I think it should show you what you need to repair it, right? I think that would make sense. But we do have what we need now, so let's repair all this stuff. I got a bunch of food, a bunch of water. Um, we're going to go out and just do some looting. Um, I, when we, when, anytime you level up, I don't really see much point in putting anything in anything. <laughs> except for... Um, uh, actually, should I take the main road? Uh, no, let's take the side road. Um, I don't see any, I don't see any point in putting anything. There's two when you level up. There's two different stat perk points that you could put it into. Um, one has weight, and the other one has a bunch of other stuff. But the one I'm talking about is weight. I don't see any reason to put anything into food, water, or infection. I think weight is the only thing that matters. So I think having a bigger food and um, food and water pool and infection pool is not really that good. I don't think it helps that much. I mean, it doesn't help you get infected any less. It doesn't help you need less food or water. It only gives you a bigger pool of that stuff, which is not really all that wonderful. I mean, honestly. So, at least that's how I feel about it. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just not as good as... um. I mean, having a bigger food, water pool, and, and infection pool is it's okay. It's just not as important as weight. I mean, especially when you're trying to carry those car batteries around. There we go. I'm going pretty much... Actually, I should, I should stop doing melee. I, I should start doing melee. Now, um, I think ranged is definitely the way to go. Um, but the fact is, melee is better if you don't have a lot of zombies on you. So, I don't see any reason to, you know, not use melee. Um, but if you have a bunch of zombies, then yeah, definitely go ranged. So, oh, this is a nice little area here. Oh, you can you grow stuff? Oh, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. What's up, buddy? Come on, suck it. Yeah, batter up punk ass that's what you get all right so there we go so those are the things we can hide on so if it's becoming night we need to look for one of those places okay so let's get back on the road man i'm loving this game oh so good so freaking good it is challenging if you don't use the you know stay on top of buildings thing then oh you're in for a rough time at least until you get used to it but i would say spike up the hell out of your base because one of the problems I have with the bases in this building is they're just is they're just regular buildings. And regular buildings in real life are not set up for defense. You know, they're just buildings. They're just homes, you know? Um, they're not set up for defense. What I would like for defense is... Oh, I gotta go check out that shelter. I think that's my same shelter that I'm in now. Just a different... Like, the same kind of shelter. Um, anyway, as far as defense goes, um, I would like... I want a base where I can have windows to shoot out of to cover the door. The problem with my base is when I'm inside my base, there's nothing I can do to get the zombies off my door. That's a big problem for me. Big problem. Okay, let's grab this stuff as we go along. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some more flowers. Let's take a look at the... Yeah, let's loot this house. What's going on, man? What's going on, bro? How's it going? You know, I should probably make some bandages, too. It's going to make me slow, so let me come outside. Alright. Should be okay being slow. Actually, I'm going to make quite a few more. Oh, God. I knew it. I freaking knew it. 
stay away from him. I hate it when they break off their bodies. It's a cool it's a cool game mechanic though. It really is. It's just it sucks because I always get messed up with it. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else want some? Let's get some flowers. Can we loot this? No. 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 Probably lose some stuff in here, I'll bet. We could definitely loot that zombie. No. Oh, there's probably some upstairs. Yep, here we go. Batter up! You're going to hear batter up a lot, by the way, guys. So. <laughs> I'm going to pre-apologize. Search! Uh, nails. Oh, there we go. Cardboard and duct tape. Ooh, pipes. Good. I want to make a pipe pistol possibly today. We'll see how... We'll see how far we go exploring. Um, I'd actually like to get home and make a pipe pistol today. Although, you know, my base is not going to be ready for nighttime defense. So I'll have to stay on the, the roof of that building. So, Oh, man. Look at it. Wow, this is a nice home. Why can't I take over this place? Okay. Food is good. Food is good. What's up, buddy? Do you know the path through the... Um, do you know the path around? Looks like he's having trouble pathing around. Microwave? It's in the microwave. Oh, they actually put stuff in the microwave that would be in a microwave. That's interesting. Good good loot placement. Alright, I think that's enough food for now. Uh, let's go ahead and drink some water. Oh, by the way, I meant to tell you, I turned my water... Um, I had my water last time I played on 0.4, and that, you know, it basically means water doesn't really matter. Um, not, not, tech, not entitled... Not in, in total, but it, you know, you don't have to do a lot with water. I put it up to 0. 0.6, so I'm, I'm going to need to drink more. And as I um, get more familiar with the game, I'll probably put that up to 1. Although, I think at 1 to 1, uh, you lose water way too quickly. So, I, I don't know if I'll ever put it back up to 1. But, I don't want to kill these guys because they're pissing me off. Man, this freaking bat, right? Takes a lot of punishment. Alright, so I came upstairs to kill the zombie that was in the house. Doesn't look like there's any more zombies in the house, so... Um, this loot is starting to look like it's like the same kind of loot, like over and over. Nails, duct tape, and cardboard. Or, you know, whatever. Oh, there we go. Something different. All right, cool. Not car. It's not cardboard. What is it called? It's like, uh, plywood. Plywood. Yeah. All right. What's in the desk? What's in the desk, bro? I wonder if you could find guns. That's, that's a good question. I can make guns. I don't, they're not great guns. Like, but I'd like to find an M4 or something. Like, I don't... Remember seeing anyone with M4s or anything? So I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm not gonna lie, guys. I would freaking cream my pants for an M4. I'm, yeah, that would be freaking sweet. Keys. Keys are not used to unlock stuff. They coming up here or what? What is this? By wisdom, a house is built, and by understanding, it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with precious and pleasant riches. Oh, cool. Interesting. That's interesting. Looks like we're not going to make it and not have to make any plywood for whatever we needed plywood for. I already forgot what I needed it for. <laughs> oh, it already says I searched that. Come on, Keech. Get on the ball, bro. Man, this place is gathering a bunch of zombies. I'm going to have to clear this place out. I guess I really don't have to. What's up, bro? Oh, he can't get up here. Okay. Hold on. I don't want to get hit in the back. Nope, can't loot that. Oh, I've already... Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go! Alright, what are we looking at next? Alright, let's check out that next uh, POI. Vehicles wouldn't be too bad in this game, but I don't think we need, like, like, ve like cars or anything. I think bicycles, maybe, like, dirt bikes. Um, something like that. I don't think we really need, need cars. Um, although I don't really know how big the map is exactly. Uh, but I think a, I think a, I think a, uh, bicycle would be a great start. Alright, let's get some more of these. There we go. Oh, that was awesome. I love that third hit, man. It's so brutal. Somebody said to circle strafe, uh, when you're meleeing. So maybe I'll try that a little bit. All right. Oh, okay. This broken hat, broken down house. I. Oh, nice, nice hat, bro. Oh, swing and a miss. You idiot, Cage. Seriously. Come on, man. Come on now. Starting to get some lag. I'm not sure if there's a lot of zombies in the area. Probably. All 
going on, bro? Oh, damn! He, I took him off his feet with that, man. Launched him. I freaking launched him. That was awesome. Come on. Take you out. Good night. Yeah, boy. That's what you get! Hello. You weren't here a minute ago. And now you're not here anymore. All right, let's clear these clowns out. Boom! Yeah, I like this game. I freaking like this game. I know I keep saying that, but I just want to let you know that I am enjoying the hell out of my game time with this. Do I really need more food? Yeah. Oh, cookware. Resource. Oh, so is that something I should scrap? Possibly. Come on, what do we got in the kitchen? What do we got in the refrigerator? Oh, okay. Let's eat that. Um, how do we eat again? E. Eat, eat, eat. Eat, eat, eat. We got some water off those fruits, which is nice. Nice and accurate. I think we're actually going to go home after this one and possibly spend the rest of the day working on spikes and uh, doing some more crafting. Um, I'm not going to, like, go out, like, I'm not going to go out, like, go away out there exploring until I um, get my base set up properly. Um, like, I'll probably stay in this area. But once I get my base set up properly, I'll start moving out into the world. Maybe setting up more bases, you know? Uh, we'll have to see how things go. Um, so did I loot everything? I wasn't paying attention. I think I looted everything in here. Mostly everything. Uh, is he going to get to me? Does not look like it. I don't know how many of these resources I'm going to need, so I'd like to have enough for nighttime. Oh, what was that? Oh, ammonia. Interesting. Maybe I could... Oh, I could probably scrap that to get chemicals, right? Oh, a shirt. Is that better than what I have? That is an undershirt. That's 2-2. Two, two, and this is 5-3. Beautiful. Moving up in the world, boys. Hell yeah. Hells to the F and yet. Really nothing... Oh, there we go. I was going to say there's something good over here I could tell. Cool. All right, let's get back home. All right, guys. I'm back at base. And I've noticed two things. First of all, I wanted to make another workbench, but I have no room for it. Okay, so I've got two choices and we're not going to do this today, but I'm looking, you know, towards a future video. We could take over one of these POIs right next to us, or we can take over one that's a little farther away to maybe get down the road. You know, um, if there's POIs down here, uh, maybe I could take, if there's a POI, I can't really tell. I think it is. Maybe if it's one that I can take over. Actually, it says lair. It says lair, POI lair. I'm not sure. This I want to find somewhere up here I can take over. So that way, if I want to like move up the map, I can transfer easier. Um, so yeah, but that's going to be maybe next video. We'll probably do that next video. Um, but what I'm going to do right now is, first of all, uh, scrap plastic seems to be a little bit limited for me. Right? I don't have a ton of it. So if you guys could tell me the best places to get scrap plastic, that would be awesome. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft my first gun. All right. And then what we need is we're going to need gunpowder. In order to get gunpowder, we need chemicals. So let oh, I forgot I have to stay in here for it. Gosh darn it. All right, so let's go ahead and craft that. Um, yeah, so we need chemicals. Now, the uh, pneumonia I found uh, can be turned into chemicals, so I'll turn that into chemicals. And maybe I'll go grab some car batteries. I'm not really sure. Um, eh, I don't know. It's, it's going to be nighttime relatively soon, so I don't know if I want to do that. But um, I actually did scrap that down into, into chemicals, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, so we got some more chemicals. Where did I put my other chemicals? Or did I use them all on whatever else I wanted to make? By the way, I thought I was getting plywood when I was just looting. It's not plywood. It's actually, um, it was actually cardboard. So, yeah. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe I spent my chemicals on something and I didn't notice because I'm not seeing any more chemicals, which means that's all I have, which I spent it on the glue. Damn it, that was a waste. That was a freaking waste. Well... Let's do what we can. Um, we'll get some more chemicals. Maybe we'll loot some areas around us. I didn't. I was thought I was done looting, but I might not be. Um, okay, so we need charcoal. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in this. Maybe we should keep this going for charcoal, right? And we've got a decent amount already, but All right, let's put that in there. Let's put half this wood. And, come on, split half, bro. There you go. Put half that wood in there. We'll get some more water, and we will also... Oh, sounds like there's some zombies outside. Uh, we'll get some more water and also some more charcoal. So let's go ahead and make some gun... Wait, what else am I missing? Wait, charcoal? Didn't I take the charcoal out? Is that not charcoal? Did I not take it out? I didn't take it out. Of course I didn't. T. There we go. T is the button I'm looking for. That's not the button you're looking for. Yes, it is. Don't lie. 
Um, okay, yeah, I really shouldn't have made all that glue. That was dumb. Yeah, maybe I'll be able to make a couple bullets. We'll see. Handgun ammo. Two. Yeah. Let's go loot some more uh, chemicals. Well, actually, you know what? I know where I can get some batteries very, very easily. So let's go get some batteries and get some more chemicals. Come on. Hurry up. All right. All right. So let's do that now. Um, actually, I think there's a car over here. Yeah, there should be a car right there. Yeah, I bet you there's some batteries in there. Like, probably like three batteries. Come on. Come on. Two batteries. All right, I'll take two batteries. By the way, every time I log on, my stupid uh, generator's going. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to um, uh, not put any gas in it. Because every time I log in, the game turns it on. So. Uh, we got a problem out there. It sounds like we might. We might have to go out there and, and lay the smack down. We'll see. All right, so that's going to get us um, a couple. It looks like one to two. So, or you can get two to, uh, one to two or two to, or one to two. So total, I would have gotten two to four. So, uh, gun powder. There you go. I'll make a couple more. All right, we'll make a couple bullets. I'll have to work on this. There's a lot of uh, work to be done, but I'm okay with that, man. I'm, I got no problem going out there and farming stuff. I'm really enjoying this game. So, um, I just need to know where to get more plastic. That's, um... You know, you get twisty ties and toothbrushes and stuff. I guess that would probably be bathrooms and kitchens, maybe? I really don't know. I really don't know. Um, we should also repair stuff. I'm going to do that during the night. All right. Where's my pistol? So I'm going to put that right there. Put that right there. Put that right there. And then we will put our axe on number four. Beautiful. All right, guys. I'm getting tired of listening to these pieces of crap. They gots to go. You gots to go, bro. Get out of here. This is my shelter, punk ass. All right, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, number one, I made the wrong ammo. Number two, it's okay because the right ammo is pretty easy to make. Ah, uh, God. Get out of here. Get out of here. I gotta make some walls or something. I really gotta work on this base, like for real. Um, anyway, uh, the, the, the ammo for the gun I'm going to be using is really easy to make. And also, um, what did I make? Four of these? So I think you get five bullets per combine. So... <laughs> All right, so let me show you this stuff. Here we go. Make shift ammo. Make all three. That's probably going to give us five per, maybe? I don't know. Does it say anywhere? I don't... Uh, I don't see anywhere it says it. Oh, are those taking metal? Oh, I didn't know those were taking metal. Okay, well, I probably shouldn't be wasting a lot of stuff on this. What do the um, regular ones take? Did they take metal as well? No. Yeah, they did. Okay. All right, so we need more makeshift metal. Makeshift metal does seem to be pretty easy to get. All right, so we got 30 rounds there. And uh, let's see how we let's see how it works on this punk. Boom! Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. Oh, wow! <laughs> and this is just a crappy gun. All right, guys. So the next thing we're gonna do for the rest of the video is just beef up our defenses. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We are over encumbered because those spikes weigh so damn much. All right, let's put eleven back. All right. So it's not great, but at least we can move, and we'll get we'll get lighter as we place stuff down. So, yeah, let's, uh, I think what we're going to do is, they seem to attack this door, so what I'm going to do is, I saw Games for Kicks do it, he just spiked up, well, it doesn't really matter, I could spike up the door anyway, because I could always walk over the spikes, when I saw Games for Kicks playing, and he had spikes right in front of his door, I was thinking, Games, what are you, what are you, what are you doing, bro, you, you can't, you know, you just spiked up your door, how are you going to get in, first of all, it was before I, I was, I ever saw this cabin, so I didn't know that, um, there was a side door, so, and um, also, uh, I didn't know you could run over the spikes. So, all right. So, this doesn't look like it's going to go in like that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in like this. Right? I think that'll work. All right. Now, can we put them on our stairs? Doesn't look like we can. See, they're still going to be able to beat. Oh, whoa, whoa. I didn't know you could do this. The thing is, if I do this, I won't be able to get in the door. But does that really matter? I don't know. I'm not going to put them up there for now. I'll put them up there if I have to. I think if we spike up in front of it enough, it'll it'll keep them away anyway. Because they'll have to get through this freaking smorgasbord of, of crazy spikes. There we go. And we'll put this one right here. Uh, maybe I'll put this right here. Kind of block it a little bit better. But then they're going to not be lined up. And I don't know if I can deal with that. Now, can the zombies walk through this? No, they can't. No, they can't. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so one more row in here. I'm gonna probably break. I'm gonna probably knock up these campfires. It was a good idea, but I'm not like I don't think I'm gonna be out here defending because 
I don't know. It just seems like they come in too big of waves to um, make defending out here plausible. You know what I mean? So, all right. I want to make sure they can't get up here. So I'm thinking like uh, right about there. Maybe we just put this one like this. Kind of on an angle. That looks good. I love spikes, man. Spikes are really one of the favorite things I've ever... I have in these games. These um these survival games. I really like them. They're so simple. But I don't know. I just... I really enjoy them. Quite a bit. Okay. And then we'll put this one right here. Okay. All right, then we're going to beef up the front a little bit more. I think we're going to put one more row here. Just to try and dissuade them from, you know, getting into the corners over here. Uh, oh, we're all out. We're all out. Check it out. Hell yeah, we can walk over the spikes. So that walking over the spikes thing is incredibly unrealistic, and I love it. <laughs> I freaking love it. I'm all about realism, guys. Um, I'm a big fan of realism in games. But I got to tell you, fun gameplay comes first. And, you know, if you could walk over these spikes, I don't know. They'd have to think of another way for you to defend open areas, I think. Or else, the, wouldn't the zombies just walk through the spikes? I don't know. Maybe you can make your zombies stupid. You don't have to be super smart like in uh, Seven Days to Die. And they would just um, walk through the spikes anyway because they don't know any better. I don't know. Okay. It's looking good. Let's just uh, go through here again. Okay. Looking good. All right, guys. You know what? I think you get the idea. Nothing left to no, nothing left to talk about here. Let me just spike this bad boy up, um, and I'll I'll do next video uh, during the night so you guys can see how well this works. Um, if it works, I'm assuming it's gonna work. I'm probably gonna break up these campfires. See, like I said, it was a, it was a great idea. They're just um, I don't know. It's just not really needed because, like I said, being out here to defend is not really all that feasible. You kind of just want to... I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe it's just because I don't have guns. Maybe if I had guns, I could defend. But the amount of zombies they send in after you... I'm not a good enough player to defend. And I don't know if I actually have what I need to defend. So, let me know in the comments, guys. Can you be out there defending your base? Um, should you be out there? I don't... You know. I don't know. Anyway, guys. Um, that's going to be it for this video. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.